Hello everyone, happy Sunday to all of the collectively conscious souls of the universe. So I'm oh, that first card came out. I'm just not even feeling that. I wasn't even through my spiel good enough. Um, but we got Venus. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I like Venus energy. Hey, and what's perfect or better for once upon a time in a twin flame? No, once upon a twin flame. Hey, I like that. So we're gonna do once upon a twin flame for the planets. Venus. Venus rules the zodiac signs of Libra as well as Taurus. When Venus shows up in Libra, she's focusing on creating beautiful partnerships and relationships with family, brands, things around her, and art. And she really appreciates life, duality, and balance, and loves to her mom, blah, loves to bring harmony to those around her. Right? That Venus is the goddess of beauty, love, abundance, as well as fertility. When Venus shows up in Taurus. Venus and Taurus energy is very practical, hardworking, and dedicated. It's about your assets, your finances, your career, the things you appreciate, right? Your money. So let's see what we have for once upon a time, once upon a twin flame, shall I say. <laughs> so I'm going to start you guys off right away since we have a planet card. I'm going right into my astrology deck for the Libra and Taurus, once upon a twin flame. Once upon a twin flame from the cosmological energy so we have from my beautiful beautiful libra tauruses ruled by the beautiful beautiful venus we have mercury hey very intelligent energy here how you think communicate write talk and travel some of you guys could be doing some traveling here with mercury energy here mercury and gemini is about local travels Marie mercury also rules virgo so some of you guys could be dealing with a gemini or virgo the moon cancerian pisces energy and a house card the fifth house Hey, spirit. So again, Mercury is the planet that rules Gemini and Virgo here. So once upon a twin flame, they want to communicate with you. Some of you guys are going to be getting messages via text message or email. Your person wants to reach out to you. They want to communicate. Some of you guys could be taking a small trip or travels to see your person. Fifth house energy is um, Leo energy. So let's go to the moon first. Um, this person is very sensitive and emotional um, about you right now. This could be your energy as well. Libra or Taurus being very sensitive and emotional right now. Your intuition being very heightened right now. But like it's like you want to cry at the drop of a dime. Like the smallest things right now just trigger you here with a lot of these eclipse energies that are taking place around us. This is your unconscious, your sensitive inner emotions and responses. So yeah, you're very, very shook about your twin, about your person that you're thinking about and you definitely want to communicate with them and reach out to them okay i see your person is watching you they could be watching you here um mercury rules communication so like i said this person is going to be reaching out to you via text message or email so if you get that butt dial or um oops a wrong text to the wrong person type of response from a message that you receive it's not going to be by mistake this person is in their feelings about you they're very emotional and sensitive about you and the connection right now so please be careful with their feelings Energies are interchangeable, so, you know, your kings can be queens or vice versa. Don't get too caught up on the genders. And tarot is um, timeless. Time is fluid. These will be events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that will in the near future happen for some of you Libra Tauruses. However, you do not have to have Libra or Taurus in your, as your sun sign. It can be your moon, um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, or a Mercury sign. So, yeah, if you have your natal charts available, guys, or go to astro.com and enter your exact um, date and time of birth. And um, you should be able to pull that up and find out what houses are occupied by these planets and get more of a basic thumbprint of your situation in life, okay? So, the fifth house energy, Leo energy. Your person sees you as very playful and fun. The Leo is ruled by the sun here. So, all is well when the sun is out. So... Well, this energy is where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. So I'm seeing your person wants to come in and be a little playful with you. You know, the passion is building up. They're very emotional and sensitive. They're thinking about you a lot, and they want to play. They want to have fun. You know, that's what that twin flame thing make you want to do. <laughs> okay, spirit. Once upon a twin flame. And my lovely, lovely Libra Tauruses ruled by the beautiful Venus. Once upon a twin flame.
Night of Air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions. So, yeah, this person with this Night of Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is coming in very quick um, with great speed. And I don't know if you're even going to have time to really, you know, get yourself prepared. If there's anything you want to say to this person that you're in separation with, let's start getting that together right now. Like, because this person is coming in, they've made up their mind, and they're coming in at some point to make an offer, a night of air. Um, it's about being intelligent, decisive, idealistic. And um, this person is tirelessly, it says tireless. I feel that they tirelessly look into you and, you know, what you're doing. It, it's not the best feeling to me, um, but I don't get a bad vibe from this energy from this person. This person just really loves you and cares about you. Um, it could be someone that you don't even know about here in this energy. Somebody that just feels they have a connection to you. Moon is about things that are hidden, right? But it's also about the unconscious mind. So that could be it as well. Um, we have renewal here, all right? This is card number 20. So, and so I'm a review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction here. Page of air. Oh, man. I definitely told you your person was watching you. They are definitely watching you. They have their guard up. It's probably somebody you blocked here uh, with renewal. They want to come in. They want to renew a situation with you because they're watching you. And um, it says it's challenging information. Of, it, it could be delays in plan, but it's like your person... And all of this air energy, they're very intelligent. The way they're looking into you, like you would even have no clue of who this person is. Um, you probably don't even have a clue that this person has these type of feelings for you. It could even be a past person that um, was kind of shady that you had to block here. Seven of Wands energy, right? Seven of Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the air energy and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the earth energy. So this person is working on an offer for you. They have something in news, some good news they want to bring to you. Um, this could be financial gifts. This person could show up with flowers, you know. Um, they're wanting to do something more challenging. Um, they want to be, they want to study you. They want to learn more about you. That's why they keep watching you. That's why they're watching your every move almost. Like, they just see you as so happy. This person can also see that you're just really happy and proud and living a really good life right now, living your best life. Um, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. And maybe that could have been why you have this person so shook because you chose to walk away from a situation that didn't serve you before. Rather than fight, you just put your guard up and walked away, stood your ground, and you did it so well that this person just can't get enough. They want to come back. Um, they want to bring you out of your dark energy, your shadow side. I see here the hermit. Um, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery right now. Is the energy this is Virgo energy and the hermit here? Nine is about things coming to an end. So, you know, your situation and separation with your person, the way your card spread is telling me that um, the separation is coming to an end here with you and your person. The separation is coming to an end. You know, you guys are going to be coming together soon with the page of earth here. Hmm. Very unexpected. Um, look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself here. Archangel Gabriel. And what deck was that? Eee, I don't have it. Um, give me a second, guys. My psychic tarot. I need my book from here. I want to look into something really quick. I know that that was that card and it's not even from this deck i just have certain decks that i use and reflect on so hey what you doing honey? <laughs> so we have the hanging man here piscean energy just double checking that looking at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill and um it's important to be yourself that's why you're in this hermit energy that's why you and your person are in separation. Once upon a twin flame, well, I say this person is definitely coming out of this hermit energy, um, awakened, brand new. They're awakened to the connection. Um, they know who you are. They see your strength. They see that you have renewed yourself and they're watching you. They see a lot of things that are going on in your life right now. Things that you probably wouldn't even share with them in some of your most intimate moments if you could because it's just like you're doing you right now. 
the Empress here, Archangel Gabriel, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. They see you're giving birth to your dreams, you're being very nurturing, you're loving on yourself here, um, attracting abundant opportunities to you. Um, it just gets greater later with you, Libra Tauruses. Once upon a twin flame, what do we have from the Queen of the Moon Oracle? From a lovely, awesome Libra, air sign of Libra, and the earth sign of Taurus. Both ruled by the beautiful Venus. And I'll say that a few times. I'll keep saying it. Sometimes people don't watch the whole videos. Somebody might skip to the end. So you'll hear some of this information. Not the whole story. Kind of repeated. I highlight moments, important moments here. You know. All right. Queen of the moon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> Got three here. The masculine and new beginnings. Yay, awakening, new beginnings. You're awakening to your gifts. They're going to lead you through some doors here that are going to be like great abundance for you. You're attracting good things to yourself. So nurture yourself and others. You're giving birth to your dreams. What's on the other side of this doorway here is greatness. What's on the other side of this doorway is coming out of the gray area that you are currently in right now, right? The hermit, isolation, introspecting, going inside, learning how to be on your own and to have your own back, to stand on your own two feet, right? The empress, you're becoming the empress. Very, very beautiful energy. The empress does not pursue or chase. She simply attracts. Just had that for Gemini. <laughs> so we have the masculine here in wisdom. Your masculine is being enlightened right now through the separation. They are becoming awakened to who they are. They are gaining lots of wisdom here and are beginning to start to tap into their higher self. And their vibration is also being raised here. They're standing more into their masculine energy and power here, right? Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. And we also have peace. We could take that. Who doesn't need a little peace in their life, right? Being at peace. This is this hermit type of energy and awakening. You know, when you get present in the moment and you calm down the monkey brain of all the things that are taking place around you that are going on, you go within, you're going to be getting to get a lot of enlightenment. This looks like a perspective change coming out of this brand new and a renewed, right? Finding your true peace. And that comes from within. Cool. I want to get you guys a energy oracle card from my energy oracle jet spirits. My lovely, awesome spirit guides, angels, archangels, and ascended masters. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. You're always showing up from the signs, giving me awesome, awesome energies and cards to work with. All right, energy oracle deck. What messages do we have? For my Libra Tauruses. Once upon a twin flame. <laughs> Door to personal healing and happiness. Ooh, man. And they see, ooh, somebody deceived you or showing up in this energy in your life. We don't want that. You have the angel of love showing up here and putting these cards down because I'm just not even going to do it. Um, I feel like this door to... Personal happiness and healing. Door to personal healing and happiness. Like, that's your inner peace. You're healing right now in that hermit type of energy. Being able to go within, quiet meditation, finding your inner peace right now. This is your path. This is your journey. How you choose to proceed and move forward is going to determine here if you are going to continue to be surrounded by, you know, the gray matter, the things that don't make sense, the monkey brain, right? The set of events that keeps you in the low vibrations, having to block people and um, running in circles. I just get the hamster wheel syndrome for some of you guys. And that means something to you. Obviously not me. It's your story, not mine. Please do comment though. I like to get your comments. It helps me out. That personal door to healing and happiness is how you are going to find your inner peace. Become one with yourself and all that is, all that ever will be, and all that was. The universal energies that surround us every day. Beautiful. It's going to give you lots of pleasure in this new place, and this newfound energy. You're going to be elated. It's going to be euphoric for you. And you're going to be feeling like you're living your best life ever, finally, at this point, in this moment. For some of you guys, it's already happened. For some of you guys, it's a work in progress, you know? 
Angel of Love. So with the Empress energy here, um, becoming the Empress. This is your journey to becoming the Empress. I feel that the Angel of Love is, uh, let's go into the book. I definitely want to get that one from the book. And why does this angel have to be like towards the back of the book? She should be in the front of the book, right? <laughs> All right, Angel of Love. Let me give you guys a visual. This card reads, Tender Connections. This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hand and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart, radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for a new love, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward. And the compassion that you demonstrate toward yourself will influence the energetic potential of those events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Ooh, yes, look at that. Look at that energy. You're radiating love, peace, harmony. So pleasurable right now. The angel of love is working on that. You're shining. You're glowing right now in that imprint's energy. Beautiful. Okay, spirit, thank you. So, of course, <laughs> with the angel of love showing up, we want to visit these awesome romance angels. See what messages they have for my beautiful, beautiful Libra Tauruses, right? Romance angels with this angel of love activation here for my Libra Tauruses. Very soon. Ooh, okay. And then we have, I'm taking that one too. Love yourself first and very soon, right? Love yourself first. This is self-love. You're on a journey of self-love and self-discovery. So you definitely want to love yourself first. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we have very soon. I'm going to show your cards. I'm going to pick one more. So let me shuffle, please. Nothing came from that. So just let me pick it for you guys. Okay. Codependency, mm. playfulness. So love yourself first. Some of you guys are definitely loving on yourself first. Beautiful energy. Spirit is definitely showing up here very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And this energy you're attracting, you're vibrating. You're just, wow. It's a beautiful energy. I kind of feel that. <laughs> Um, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. What is it that you can cut out of your life right now that you have a guard up for? Some of you guys are just walking away from things here. You're being renewed. You're being restored. Codependency is double energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it's about addictions, sexual addictions, gambling, outdoor sports, fishing, um, drugs, sex, porn for some of you guys. Whatever those addictions look like, it's affecting your romantic life. Some of you could be addicted to working. Once upon a twin flame, your person can just be addicted to you and obsessed with you here in this energy as well. You're addicting. You're intoxicating. Look at these energies. Look at your energy field around you. You're very magnetic. You're very attractive in your energy. Some of you aesthetically are very, very, very beautiful. Let me tell you, in that Empress energy, you're very attractive. You're very beautiful. But it, that energy, though... Oh, we, we're by Venus, right? That energy, though, mm, you're very magnetic and attractive. People feel your aura, and it's very pleasurable. Very. I uh, hear it's a pleasure to be around you. Playfulness. <laughs> Fifth house. <laughs> they like to play. I told you that. They want to play. <laughs> they want to play with you, Libra Tauruses. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm. Looks like somebody going to be buying some new sheets. <laughs> You ain't hit that for me. Okay, spirit. Let's get a romance. Nope, nope, nope. Magical mermaids and dolphins card. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Don't rush into action right now. Buy your time for better results. <laughs> so you're going to have to wait and stall this person out. They coming in hot and heavy and they want you. But keep them in that energy. Keep them chasing you just like that. So you can have the best possible results that you want to have from this connection with this person. I'm going to show you your card in just a minute, here, my dears. Show you. Okay. Alchemy and positive energy. <laughs> Spirit. Yes. So wait. <laughs> Make them wait. 
Make them wait. Don't be too quick to rush and to jump at that first offer they're coming in with. Because I'm telling you, they're going to keep leveling up for you. This person is not playing about you in the connection, period. Page of Earth. They're coming with offers. They've decided. They're coming in quick. So don't be quick to respond. That's all Spirit is saying. Let them sweat it out. <laughs> and then you have alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now. And every project you touch turns to gold. You better know it. You better know it. That's that inference energy right now being attracting abundant opportunities to you because you have such an abundant mindset, right? You attract those opportunities to you to create more abundance into your life, period. <laughs> then we have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So you're setting boundaries. You have your guards up. You're standing up for your beliefs and your rights and you're blocking yourself from those who don't deserve to be a part of this new energy that's around you. Those who may send a negative um, vibration out into this beautiful, pleasurable field that you are emanating right now into the universe. You're attracting so many great opportunities, people and situations your way because you're so loving and nurturing and it's so beautiful. And I just got chills saying that all over my skin. I got the little pricklies here. I love it. So, yeah, I just love that your positive energy card is here. Like, keep working on you. Keep emanating that beautiful positive energy because it is very, very attractive and alluring to those around you. They see you. They see your shine. And you're definitely going to be coming into some great, great connections here very soon. So just hold on. Don't be too quick to jump in. Make them wait it out. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> I want to get you guys a Kipper Oracle. No extended. Kipper, what messages do we have from the Kipper Oracle for my Libra Tauruses? What messages do we have from this Kipper Oracle for my Libra Tauruses? Message. <laughs> okay, page of pentacles. Well, page of earth, yeah, you got messages coming. So, this person wants to come in and bring you a message. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how my deck just got all out of whack like that. Let me show you your card. I don't make things up on my channel. The wax seal is broken. I'm going to tell you what this message looks like. So this is the message coming your way. Your person wants to come in and it's a good message. It's number seven. It's about luck, abundance, um, you know, opportunities, right? Things having a favorable outcome for you. 